What's up, y'all? This your man, Bobby Wash, a producer, singer, songwriter, and filmmaker. Um, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to make the previews uh, for the program to automatically play when you slide down uh, the expansion area of the uh, drum machine. All right, let's go to one here. Hear that? So every time, every time you uh, touch one, it makes, it makes a sound. All right, basically what you want to do is you want to actually create the uh the kit first like i showed you in my other video you want to use the expansion tool you want to ex uh, create the whole kit first with this builder and i'll link, i'll put a link in the description if you didn't watch that video to how to how to create the expansion first once you create the expansion you bring that expansion into the drum machine either on the standalone or in the software and you make a like an eight bar loop a, a beat or a four bar or two bar whatever you want you got to use the samples from that expansion you made once you do that you're going to export that out as an mp3 um, 192 uh, Hertz mp3 192 you can make a wave as well but that's gonna take up more room in your hard drive and if you're making a bunch of these it can take up too much room with those big waves so I use the mp3 it's, it's high quality enough once you once you do export it out you're gonna go ahead and come to the expansion um, come to the expansion that you want to um, add the preview to to the program attach to the program and I made a Jermaine Dupri uh, expansion and um, I made a MP3 as well. Jack here, all right, you'll see the MP3 I made right here. What you wanna do is you wanna rename that to the same name as the kit. Here's the kit I use, kit one, and it doesn't have any expansion yet. So I'm gonna take this whole name, this whole path name, and I'm gonna give it the same name to this MP3. But the only difference is MP3 gonna stay behind this one. So you can see it has the same name, except it has an MP3. Now you want to go ahead and make a folder called, put brackets, previews, P-R-E-V-I-E-W-S, brackets, close brackets. Now you want to drag that file in that preview folder. All right, and now it's in there. It's in there now. Let me get it over here. All right, it's in there now. Now you want to drag this folder from the project that you made the sequence you want to actually and you export it you want to bring it into the expansion folder now it's gonna be at the top of the expansion folder right there I can get this one all right so now you got the preview and the rest of the expansion now when I go to the previews it should load up so remember you already have the kit here before you added that file right to it so you want to make sure that um, you put it that preview file it's here in Jermaine Dupri. You want to put it right here as well because it's not going to be in there because you didn't have it at first. So now, as you can hear, let's go back here. When I go back in now, you close it and relaunch it. Kit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Here we go. There it is. That's it. And that's the same sequence I created. If you go to uh, open the sequence, uh, let's see here, recent Jermaine Dupri. This is the sequence that I made, see? see? Okay, so a recap, a recap. First thing you have to do is uh, use the expansion builder to create your, create your, um, custom expansion for whatever drum kit or sounds or piano whatever you have and then once you create it you know like this totally create it it's going to create its files that, that it needs and then you open it up inside the software or either the standalone right and you make your beat on sequence you save the sequence as, a, as the same name um, you save the program as the name that you want the program to be when people look up the program and then you export it out as a, a mp3 192 file but then when you get it to the computer, you can't do this on the standalone because the standalone doesn't have brackets. You can only use brackets on the um, computer. You have to make that preview file. So you come to the computer, you rename that MP3 file, the same name identically to the kit program that you choose, right? So if it's called Jermaine Dupri Kit 001, then the MP3 should be called the same thing, but you're gonna put a dot after that, XPM dot MP3. Then you put that in the previews folder, and you stick that previews folder in within the expansion folder that you created early on. 
And because these files are important, this cache file, you don't create that. That's created by the expander. So without that, the previews and nothing gonna work. So it's gonna put everything right. So all you're gonna do is add this previews with that bracket and put the file here. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below and please give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to the channel. Peace. These three hats have three different meanings. I'm gonna break them down hat by hat. This hat represents me, the family man, husband and father. This hat represents me, the musician, producer, singer, songwriter, street promoter. This hat represents me as a filmmaker, feature films and vlogging. These hats also represent where I'm from, Miami. The cliche, you're a jack of all trades, but somehow I managed to master all three. I'm Bobby Washington and these are my vlogs.